we share tutorial questions and answers it is all about understanding facts and sharing with others learning continues we are learning to know understand and share with others please, please subscribe, subscribe to, to our, our channel, channel if you, if you like, like our videos, videos. general biology 1 part 3 the tutorial questions and answers on the element of ecology and types of habitat question 17 what is ecology ecology is the study of ecosystems question 18 who coined the term ecosystem the term ecosystem was first coined by a g tansley an english botanist in 1935 question 19 explain the term an ecosystem an ecosystem is a geographic area where plants, animals, and other organisms, as well as weather and landscape, work together to form a bubble of life. An ecosystem is that it is a community or group of living organisms that live in and interact with each other in a specific environment. An ecosystem is a community of living organisms in conjunction with the non-living components of their environment, interacting as a system. Which of these definitions do you like most? Drop your answer at the comment section. Question 20. Use tropical forests to explain the concept of ecosystems. Tropical forests are ecosystems made up of living beings such as trees, plants, animals, insects and microorganisms that are in constant interaction between themselves and that are affected by other physical, sun, temperature, or chemical, oxygen or nutrients, components. Question 21. What are the components of an ecosystem? Ecosystem is a physically defined environment, made up of two inseparable components which are the biotope, abiotic, and biosynosis, biotic. Question 22. Explain the two components of an ecosystem. The biotope, abiotic, a particular physical environment with specific physical characteristics such as the climate, temperature, humidity, concentration of nutrients or pH. The biosynosis, biotic, a set of living organisms such as animals, plants or microorganisms, that are in constant interaction and are, therefore, in a situation of interdependence. Question 23. List at least two facts that join biotic and abiotic components. Biotic and abiotic components link together through a, nutrient cycles and b energy flows. Question 24. Explain the structure of the ecosystem. The structure of an ecosystem is characterized by the organization of both biotic and abiotic components. This includes the distribution of energy in our environment. It also includes the climatic conditions prevailing in that particular environment. The structure of an ecosystem can be split into biotic components and abiotic components. The biotic and abiotic components are interrelated in an ecosystem. It is an open system, where the energy and components can flow throughout the boundaries. Question 25. Mention major factors capable to control ecosystems. Ecosystems are controlled by external and internal factors. Question 26. How does external factors affect ecosystem? External factors such as climate, parent material which forms the soil and topography, control the overall structure of an ecosystem, but are not themselves influenced by the ecosystem. Question 27. What are the two types of ecosystem? The two types of ecosystem are terrestrial ecosystem and aquatic ecosystem. Question 28. Describe terrestrial ecosystem. Terrestrial ecosystems are exclusively land-based ecosystems. There are different types of terrestrial ecosystems distributed around various geological zones. They are forest ecosystems, grassland ecosystems, tundra ecosystems, and desert ecosystem. Question 29. Explain aquatic ecosystem. Aquatic ecosystems are ecosystems present in a body of water. These can be further divided into two types, namely, freshwater ecosystem and marine ecosystem. Question 30. What is the largest ecosystem in the world? The largest ecosystem in the world is the aquatic ecosystem. It comprises freshwater and marine ecosystem. It constitutes 70% of the surface of the earth. Question 31. 
What makes a good ecosystem? Question 32. Mention some of the non-living things in an ecosystem. The non-living things in an ecosystem include air, wind, water, rocks, soil, temperature, and sunlight. These are known as the abiotic factors of an ecosystem. Question 33. What do you know about abiotic components? Abiotic components are the non-living component of an ecosystem. It includes air, water, soil, minerals, sunlight, temperature, nutrients, wind, altitude, turbidity, etc. Question 34. Describe biotic components and mention the three categories of biotic component based on just nutrition. Biotic components refer to all life in an ecosystem, based on nutrition. Biotic components can be categorized into autotrophs, heterotrophs and saprotrophs, or decomposers. Question 35. What do you know about autotrophs as a category of biotic components? Producers include all autotrophs such as plants. They are called autotrophs as they can produce food through the process of photosynthesis. Consequently, all other organisms higher up on the food chain rely on producers for food. Question 36. What is heterotrophs, a category of biotic components? Consumers or heterotrophs are organisms that depend on other organisms for food. Consumers are further classified into primary consumers, secondary consumers and tertiary consumers. Primary consumers are always herbivores, that they rely on producers for food. Secondary consumers depend on primary consumers for energy. They can either be a carnivore or an omnivore. Tertiary consumers are organisms that depend on secondary consumers for food. Tertiary consumers can also be an omnivore. Quaternary consumers are present in some food chains. These organisms prey on tertiary consumers for energy. Furthermore, they are usually at the top of a food chain as they have no natural predators. Question 37. Describe saprophytes, decomposers, a category of biotic components. Decomposers include saprophytes such as fungi and bacteria. They directly thrive on the dead and decaying organic matter. Decomposers are essential for the ecosystem as they help in recycling nutrients to be reused by plants. We share. Tutorial questions and answers. It is all about understanding facts and sharing with others. Learning continues. We are learning to know, understand, and share with others. Please, Please subscribe, subscribe to, to our channel, channel if you like, like our videos. videos.